Ah, hello bleepers, how the devil are you? time again when we go forth and explore and try and find hidden treasures in the ground. <laughs> There's a gap in the weather. Got to get out there quickly. It's going to be a short hunt. There is a gap. I am off. I'm going to, this is a real quick intro. Um, I just wanted to say this year, this is my last video for this year, I think. Uh, I'm going to have a little break, you see, just a little break, like a week or two because it's Christmas coming up. It's Happy New Year. I wanted to say Happy New Year. And Merry Christmas to you all. Um, thank you very, very much for your support this year. I, I really, really appreciate it. It's been a really good year for me on YouTube, and it's been a really good year for me on uh, metal detecting, finding rings and hoards and hammered coins. I've just had a blast, and it's I've loved it, and I've fallen even more in love with metal detecting, if you will. Um, thank you for your support. Um, Merry Christmas to you all. A Happy New Year to you all. And if you are new to this channel, then welcome, and I'm presuming that maybe you've gone and got yourself a metal detector go forth and explore and discover new and hidden treasures beneath the ground my friends anyway uh, on that note let's go do some metal detecting Shoo! Radio, before we start um, as you can see the weather's betrayed me we have to find some high ground to get onto to go metal detecting good lord that is deep man Anyway, um, so yes, I just want to talk to you about the program that I'm using. It's been a program that I've been using for a very long time, recommended to me by Gordon Heritage. Now, the reason I'm talking to you about this is because the Detectits have a, um, a very, very simple guide to setting up this program. I didn't know that I had this program. I'd already had it on here for a really, really long time after talking to Gordon on Skype some time ago about a, another thing that we've been talking about. They have a very, very good and easily understandable video explaining how to get this four by four settings which is what it's known as um, on your Equinox 800 and I believe 600 as well I'm not entirely sure so go check that out and um, I'm sure they'll appreciate a subscribe as well anyway right I'm just gonna fight my way through this bloody mess this festive swell <laughs> and it's quite a while until I get myself on top of that shush you fool on top of that hill over there okay and it might take a while, you know. And we're straight in with a little pewter button there. How lovely. And there's another little button there. And that was an absolute nightmare to locate, that one was. That was rather frustrating, if you will. And I think that I have yet another cat badge. I am doing so well with cat badges at the moment. Well, this is my third in about three weeks, I think. Something like that. Okie dokie, let's give this one a quick clean up. Right, I really tried to rub the bottom to see what that says, but I can't get it. So we have a crown at the top and what looks to be a harp. Is this Irish? Not too sure. But this looks like it says Geis Pan Abbott. Huh? Geis, definitely Geis. Spelt as in like Beetle Geis or Beetlejuice. Geis para bit. Hmm. I'm wondering if that's Welsh or Irish. I think it probably is. Which means that'll be my first, I think. Oh, what is this? All right, I'm gonna have to Google this when I get home, chaps and chapesses. Hoorah! And that's just a screw top to something maybe military, not 100%, but it's screwed in and may have gone bang in a previous life. Ah, and we have coinage. And my immediate presumption would be that this is perhaps a penny. But what type of penny? Are we looking at a Victoria penny, a George penny or an Edward? Let's get in there deeper and take a look, my friends. Now, what did you predict, bleepers? Did you go for an Edward, a George or a Victoria? Well, 
If you chose any of those three, then you would be wrong, because this is a Napoleon the Third. Whoa! Look at that! It says Francais. It's a French coin. The centimes. Empire. Oh, man. I wonder what the date is. I can't find a date anywhere. But that is cool, isn't it? Oh, there you go. 1854. Oh, wow. That is awesome. That is cool. I love it when I get, like, old foreign coins. Hey. Man. Bonjour. Je suis anglais. Je m'appelle Chris. That is cool. That is cool. I like that a lot. It's my first. And I am happy. Having a quick break because it just started hammering it down and it's stopped again very, very quickly. It's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty... It's, uh, yeah, it's tenuous. As you can see, the sky is... Can you see how dark it is? That's, you know, it's not late. That's how dark it is. It's funny because... Um, a lot of my friends like from Florida and Texas and Australia and warmer climates so I just say oh, I couldn't metal detect I just couldn't how it's wet it's freezing cold it's dank it's muddy it's gray it's black and it is it is but you know what it has its own I don't know how to describe it it has its own beauty you know, that's it. That's the word I'd use. It is all of those things. Absolutely. But it, it's, it's because I've lived here all my life, you know, and uh, uh, my heritage is here as well. It, it's, I don't mind it. I like it. It's something about it that I'm, I love the, the crows, you know, the black crows just calling and complaining in the wind, the freezing cold wind and the rain. I don't know. It's just, it's something that I, I quite like. I don't like... I couldn't be in the sun all the time, well, because of my hair colour, for number one. But number two, it just too much sun and it does my head in. I need rain, I need seasons, I think is what I'm trying to effectively say. Um, I couldn't live without seasons. Anyway, I am going to get on top of that hill again and risk this. Wish me luck, bleepers. Now, I thought this was a... No, my immediate presumption was maybe it's going to be a Chinese coin, but no, it's just a, a ring of... Nothingness, I think. One sec. Yeah, I'm not 100 sure, but I think that could be a uh, just a, a big old washer, maybe. Mm, I'm not too sure for something hugely mechanical, like um, Optimus Prime's knee. Ah, possibly a little bit of bronze here, and we know what happened last time. I found a little bit of bronze, don't we? And it was only a little bit of bronze like this, and it ended in a huge 4,000 year old hoard. And it was literally a small piece like this and I just stayed in that area. I think that this could be a Roman. Because I could just make out something there. Again, I'm just pushing mud around because the muddy is extra sticky. This could be good. I do like my little Romans. They're quite rare for me at the moment. So I'd be very happy if that is. One sec. Yep, 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 I'm pretty sure that's a Roman. I could just make out those two people that um, have to slave, I think it is, if I remember rightly. Just make that out. I can't make out anything on the other side. Or maybe I can. I think there's writing around the side, isn't there? Just make that out. I can't make out an emperor's head or anything, no. Just at the top there. Let's see. I think that's writing there, isn't it? Cool. Right, yeah, we've got ourselves a good little, hey look, the sun really does shine out my backside. There's proof right there. Right, we've got a good little signal here. And uh, that's the phone. Okay, yeah, I got it. It's, uh, yeah, no worries. Let's get in there and see what we can find. <laughs> What treasures lie beneath? Um, okay. Oh! Oh, hello! It's a button. It's not a coin, unfortunately. But it's rounded, so it could be military. It is military. Wow, that's a good one. 
It's got a crown on it and a, and a 38, which designates a regiment of some sort. Let me flip the camera around. There it is right there though. Can you see that? Yay. There you go. Just giving it a bit of a clean up. It is indeed a crown and a 38. Fantastic. Yeah, I wonder what that is. I'm finding a lot of military stuff up here. It makes sense actually thinking about where I am and the proximity to uh, um, over there. Yeah, it's very good. No, no. Trick stood on that one. That was such a good target. <laughs> such a good. That was a uh, proper ping apart on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, nothing here. Sometimes medieval rings have markings on, but I don't think there's anything here. I can't see anything. Um, it probably is, to be fair, still a ring, um, which makes it, of course, historically viable, but it would have been nice if it was gold or silver, Mister. Hmm, but look, the more I rub at it, can you see that rather wonderful gold coming through there? Ah, no, 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 don't be fooled. Well, I've been buffering that bad boy. Just in the hope to get a good thumbnail. <laughs> get it, sir. It's a weird one, this is. I quite like it. It's still quite wearable. I'm going to buffer it some more when I get home. Now that wasn't too bad, and I've been blooming obsessed with this ring cleaning it up and cleaning it and cleaning it and cleaning it. Um, very strange thing about this ring, it's been resized and there is a, the hallmark in it looks like the cross from the Knights Templar. We'll look into that a little bit more, probably from my Patreons. Um, that's very interesting, um, the fact that it's just been worn and loved by somebody, I don't care that it's brass or, or that it's not gold or anything like that, I think, think it's a really interesting find with a story to tell, but we will never ever know, unfortunately. I seem to have stumbled upon a military site, I think, here. Um, here. I've had a few cat badges in the last few videos and these, these uh, military buttons uh, coming up are really interesting as well, and a Napoleonic coin, whoa, that was, Fantastic. It really, really was. Um, I've had a great time. Okay then, so right, let's, uh, let's have a little break from all of this like malarkey and I shall see you guys on the flip side. Again, sincere thanks for your support this year. Uh, sincerely have a great Christmas uh, if you support that type of thing. Uh, and if you don't support that type of thing, then have a good holiday and uh, have, of course, a great, fantastic new year. Thank you very much, my friends, and I shall see you in the next video. Thank you.